Greetings, Harvest family, you that are joining us via live stream, harvestupc.com. Wow, what a journey here these last several weeks. Uh, Governor Parsons has given a new order trying to get our state reopened. And so we feel that it's necessary to just maybe give us some communique here about what the, that looks like for Harvest. And so I'm going to take just a few moments here uh, tonight and uh, just give you some exciting news. And uh, we have met with several of our leaders even today here on at Harvest uh, at, at our local address here in Lebanon. And we've formulated a plan. Of course, we've been brainstorming for weeks now of what this might look like, but here it is upon us. And so this Mother's Day, which is May the 10th, not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday is Mother's Day, which has always been a very exciting time around harvest. One of our most attended services, typically looking back through attendance roles uh, through the years. Uh, Mother's Day is one of our most attended services. And so it's just pretty neat, I think, that that's when we are going to uh, prepare to come back to church. And so that's the exciting announcement uh, that I wanted to give to you uh, tonight before you service, but also our connect groups and different uh, leaders will be connecting with you this week concerning this. But I, I also want to just cover uh, a few things and uh, be a little bit scripted here tonight because I want to be very clear in our communication. Uh, they've been saying that uh, Governor Parson said this, it's not going to be like flipping a switch, but it's almost like turning of a dial. And so it is going to be a new normal. Uh, things will look different when you come back to harvest. Uh, we are going to be participating in uh, social distancing and doing our best to comply. But I want to make a, just a few statements to, um, most importantly, to Harvest's family, but then all that would join us. But it's our desire uh, here at Harvest to be intentional about protecting the health and the well-being of our members and our guests. Uh, we want to do our best at mitigating any risk uh, with protective guidelines in place as we proceed forward. Having church and even fellowship with these guidelines that offer uh, basic in infection prevention uh, is going to be the new normal here uh, at Harvest. As we wait for the discovery of a, a vaccine or reach uh, a place of immunity or find some options with treatment, uh, we will follow the guidelines that are set forth by our national, state, and local government. We think it's important to understand there are, and I want to make this very clear, uh, we understand this as uh, leadership and as a team here at Harvest, but there are many, many, many uh, standards and approaches, both professional and personal, uh, that are being presented with, uh, we're being presented with on a daily basis. Amen. Harvest leadership has looked to state and local government uh, for directives in navigating uh, this pandemic and this virus. We understand that there is, is media and quasi experts and online theories that are being proposed of which some are embracing as their own conviction and their own standard. We get that and that's your own prerogative. But we have been looking to the local and state government uh, for direction as we move through this crisis. Uh, we've chosen from the outset, amen, to follow uh, that order. And then again, of course, looking to our own local government to simply get a clear and consistent directive uh, in these perplexing times, amen. So allow me just to share in part what this new normal is going to look at as we would reconvene here uh, at 926 Fowler here at Harvest here in Lebanon as you would show up at church on Sunday on Mother's Day. I just want to give you a little snapshot of what that might look at. Of course, there's no way in this unlimited time that I could share everything that we're doing. Now, there's a lot of work going on behind scenes, as you can only imagine. But I do want to create just a picture of what you can expect when you come uh, back to Harvest, a place of worship. First of all, uh, and I'm going to say this very clearly, uh, we ask that if you are sick or if you show any symptoms or signs of sickness, to just please stay home and to join us 
via live stream as we have done these last several weeks. That's not only for your health, but that's also for the comfort and the health of others. So we're asking that if you are sick or showing any signs of sickness, to please join us, continue to join us via live stream. Secondly, we will be refraining. I'm not happy to announce this because I know so many of us uh, have a shortage in this category, uh, but we are asking that at this time and for this season uh, to refrain, and that'll be from the parking lot, the front door, and even as we gather in the house of God, to refrain from handshakes, and, and hugging and uh, slapping backs and those kind of connections that we're so familiar with in fellowship in the church house. Again, this is not only for your uh, health and well-being, but it's also for the comfort and the health and the well-being of others. And so, uh, again, you might be fine with this interaction, uh, but some others might not, and so we want to respect uh, those spaces of comfort. Amen. We must be respectful of others' comfort zone and their practices during this time. Amen. We will have designated seating. I'm talking about Mother's Day when we come back to harvest. This is sort of what it's going to look like. There is going to be designated seating and are using our connect groups as a form of, of sectioning off a man, our area of our congregation, our sanctuary. Your connect group leader will be in touch and communicating more of these details to you in the coming days. If you're not part of a connect group, uh, we also will have a place for you as you would come to the church house on Mother's Day. Amen. Our restrooms will be open, uh, but will be managed by an attendee. We're just asking that all of our congregation, and if you choose to be with us in worship on Mother's Day, that you would just be mindful and respectful uh, to their directions and their guidelines. Uh, we will be, first of all, trying to keep everything sanitized, but secondly, uh, continuing in that social distancing, and thus so we'll have an attendee, uh, an attendee at the restrooms. It might be that you'll be asked to participate in the service in one of our overflow rooms, uh, again, as we're working diligently uh, to maintain social distancing. And so please be ready uh, to comply with these directions and these requests. Uh, we don't exactly know who all is going to come or what the number will be, uh, but we have already began a strategy where everybody can have a seat and can participate in our worship service on Mother's Day. Uh, but if it's an inconvenience for you, uh, we just ask that you would comply if you're directed to a room where we will have uh, video connection and you will also be connected in the house with the sound. So sit as families. That's something else I want to encourage you to do. Uh, if you're already in your home and you're connected with your family, you can continue that at harvest. And so as you would gather in the church house uh, and you're already connected with your family, sit as families on this Mother's Day. And I also want to state that you might observe that some of our sections mixing as families. And that's because uh, many of our connect groups have already uh, whether they've done dinner or have connected on a social uh, level in, in their private time or during the week. And some of those will already be connected. So if you see that going on in church, we're going to permit that at harvest. But at the same time, we want to be respectful from those for those that are uh, participating in social distancing. Uh, and again, that will be their preference uh, here at harvest. There will be no pre-service or after-service Fellowship In the past, for years now, we've had pastor's prayer at 9 o'clock. Uh, that will not be taking place. There will be prayer going on, but there will not be no scheduled meeting. Uh, so show up, you know, as you, as you will. The doors are going to open at 9.30 on Sunday morning, May the 10th. And as you would gather here, but there will be no scheduled meeting. Service will start at 10 o'clock. And then there also, will be, we're asking that there be no after-service fellowship. Uh, we're asking you to restrict your interaction in the church building uh, to mitigate risk uh, by going to your seat once you enter the building. We're asking you not to lounge in the foyer. Uh, and again, I know that's different. It is a new normal. But we're asking you to go to your place. Of course, you can wave. You can talk across the way. Uh, but get to your place of seating. Get ready for the service. Be prayerful. Uh, but before service and after service, we really want to challenge all of us uh, to be respectful of these new guidelines during, again, during this season. Uh, we understand that some families will connect after service, 
uh, it means they desire where they meet in the parking lot and say, hey, we're going to go through uh, the drive through at Burger King together for ser after service dinner. That's all on you. That's well. But let's be respectful in the church house of trying to maintain uh, these new norms. Uh, this is all new to us, uh, but I am confident. I am confident. Uh, Harvest family and guests and friend, I'm confident that God is, is going to use this for an advantage, amen, I believe for his kingdom and the greater cause and purpose that maybe we don't see so clearly today, amen. The safety and health of our neighbors and our friends and even guests is a high priority at, at Harvest. But we also realize how good and how pleasant it is that brethren dwell together in unity, in, in worship, in fellowship, Amen. And lifting up the name that's above every name. And so we're so excited uh, to be coming back together. Amen. On this Mother's Day, May the 10th, we invite you to participate. Invite a guest. We're trying to, to make room uh, for everyone. And at the same time, uh, try to live within the parameters of these new norms. <laughs>